variety of people have asked that I make a V8 version of one of my air engines. The reality is four cylinders is all you need to get the full power out of one. Um, all the phases are balanced out then. But I can see the appeal of a V8. So I've decided to make a really small V8. Um, i got multiple versions of the plan here because I'm not really sure how I'm going to cut it out and put it together quite yet. But uh, it's going to be made with a much smaller, this will be the piston cylinder and this stainless steel, <clears throat> this stainless steel tube will be used to make the pistons. And uh, first I'm going to take the two halves of my engine block, put it on my, uh, the wood I'm going to make it out of and uh, drill out the main holes and kind of figure it out from there. I have my block here. I'm going to drill my holes out. I'm not going to cut it down to the skinny size right away because it gives me a little more to hold on while I'm drilling my holes. I try to keep it the same direction when I drill it because no matter how hard you try, it, it's never quite completely level here, here at tabletop here. So if you do it, they all skew the same direction and you don't have a problem or as much of one. up here but that'll be fine once we glue it off. To cut the tube I'm going to use this uh, prototype that I had drilled out. I'm just going to put it in part way and then cut it off using that just to kind of keep things lined up and support it. I'll just push that back through now and uh, do the next till I have eight of them. For the tubes, before I put them in the engine, I'll just go around to care of the little lip that may or may not have formed. It's a lot easier to do that now before they're in the engine block. So now that I have um, you know, all the holes drilled out and the liners for the piston cylinders all in place, I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to glue them in yet, but uh, I will be scoring them all just to uh, kind of rough up the outside so the glue has something to bind to. That'll help hold them in place. I'm probably going to just kind of uh, do a little epoxy Now that I have these cut out, notice that the side that I had that wasn't going to be cut off was the one with the two holes in. Precision matters more on those than it does on the holes that will be on the other side. So from one of my other patterns, I've cut out just this, the opposing side here and I'll glue that on there. There's some lines to line it up on the end. And What I'll do is I'll drill out the middle, the same size hole as these. Then I'll drill these all the way through. And then I'll, maybe with a file or some kind of small device, I'll 
link the three holes together making more of a slot on this side. So we'll see how that works out. I'm using the tip of one of my brad tip uh, drill bits to kind of create little pilot holes all along in them. That way when I drill it out with the 3 32 bit they'll stay nice and centered. Once things are drilled out they end up looking like this. We have the two holes on one side and the three on the other. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to just cut off cut things off cut the wood off with an X-Acto knife to leave a channel. Then for that channel I'm going to take a uh, in my drill press kind of a, a needle file bit just kind of grind through the metal. There it is. To remount the inside and kind of clear off the little burrs and roughness, I've gotten some uh, stainless steel 3 16 rod and I've just roughed it a little bit with a piece of sandpaper by going like this on it. Then I'll put in a drill press and kind of use it to kind of file down and drill. That should smooth things out pretty nicely. Alright, things seem to have worked out pretty good. Piston should slide pretty easy. One of the reasons I'm going with stainless steel for the piston is um, it's much easier to get the piston smooth than it is the inside of the cylinder. So, you know, with the other engine, with the aluminum piston, a defect in the cylinder would uh, groove and grind on the piston. Or here, the smooth piston should be able to smooth out the cylinder as it runs. At least that's my theory anyway. I'm gonna. This is a good breaking point in the, the video because I haven't designed any more of the engine than this, so uh, this will be the first part one.